Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to share with you another Tam Beauty haul. I had to make another order because I wanted to pick up this item. So the first item is the Makeup Revolution Epic Nights palette. So it looks like that. Obviously I will be doing a review and swatches about this one very, very soon. So I'll be doing that over the next few days for you. The next item, and I went to Norwich a couple of days ago to purchase some uh, solid brush cleaner. Um, I really do like the Freedom brush cleaner, and that's called the Brush Bath, but that one is £7, and I do tend to find that it's a very creamy formulation, so it doesn't actually uh, last very long, and in fact, I clean my brushes every day, and it lasts about two weeks. Now, I've purchased in this haul the Makeup Revolution Sanitizing Solid Brush Cleaner. This one is five pounds, and this one, although the Freedom one is more like a cream formulation, this is more like a glycerin formulation. That kind of, you, can, you can't see all the way through it, but you can sort of, it's a little bit translucent. So I find that this one, even though it's less expensive, lasts a little bit longer. Well, that's what I'm hoping for anyway. I also purchased this palette because at the time of placing my order, it was 50% off and it is the Freedom Today's Tonight palette. And I already have this, so I purchased this as a gift or a backup. I'm not really sure, but I thought three pounds, you just can't beat that. So I thought I'd pick that up. And I do have, I think, three palettes from this range and I will be sharing that this week as well with you. The next one is a um, duo brow definer pencil. I think it's a pen, no it's not, is it the duo brow definer? Yeah, it is a brow pencil. Now I picked up the brow pomade in my last order and I'm experimenting a little bit with other brow products because if you're a regular viewer, you know I absolutely love the Primark PS Brow Pencil in the shade Medium. I love it, it's fantastic, but I want to branch out and try other things, so I thought I would try this. I haven't even opened it, so I'll just see if I can open it now and show you actually what the product is like. I can't actually remember the price of this one, so obviously as usual I will uh, yeah, I'll pop everything down below for you. So this one is a double-ended brow pencil. It looks like that and then you have the actual product at one end and it's a really good shape actually. Um, yeah, that's really good. I like that, that it's square and then at the other end you get the, the, um, the brow brush <laughs> I'm gonna call it I can't remember what it's called but yeah I'm really pleased with that and can't wait to try that too um, the next is an eyeshadow and I looked I don't usually look all the way through um, the website but this time I did and I came across this now I absolutely love their single eyeshadows I do have quite a number of them and I've never actually picked up anything like this I've always got the you know the flat shades but this is limitless and it looks like one of their um it's got a flat color and then it's got gold running through it so like i say i've not got any others like this so i thought i'd pick this up and i'm really intrigued to see how that and in fact if i can get the tape off i will swatch that for you now i really like that these are all these all have tape on um and that, but it just makes it a little bit more difficult for me to get off there we go so it looks like that I think it's stunning that's a gorgeous color that is stunning that shade can't wait to try that that is a perfect lid shade so that one is limitless then I thought I would try this now as you know again if you're a regular viewer I love the L'Oreal uh, infallible matte foundation I've been wearing it for absolutely ages it's just something that works for me although 
uh, I now I have on today the Nip and Fab foundation and I'm loving that so I'm going to be sharing that over the next couple of days with you as well so obviously I want to branch out again uh, so I thought I would try this now I've seen mixed reviews about this on YouTube uh, although on their website I think it's either got four to five stars and I thought I would try this it's the Freedom Pro Matte Longwear Foundation it was only two pounds for 30 mils so I thought yeah I really really want to try something new so I thought I'd get that and again I'll share that with you over the next uh, week or so the next one is a lip balm and I've wanted this for a while and it's the Katie Price lip balm and you get 15 mil for I think it's five pounds now I have already tried this um, what I really liked about it first of all is and this is what drew me to the product the fact that it is like this so you can put it on your lips with ease you don't have to dip your finger in it you don't have to um, you know it's what not one of those um, strange uh, balm lipsticks that are in you know a very awkward shape anything like that and you tend to miss your lips and get it all over your face it's not that it is like you know designed for the lip area which I love now my favorite lip balm is from elf but it's in a pot and you have to put your finger in it or you have to um so you either apply it with your finger or a brush and i find it's very time consuming i just want to grab it and use it so i thought this would be good now i've already tried this and what i don't like about lip balms is that when you put a product on your lip that it dries and then you have this um, it goes very dry and then your lips look like they're peeling that kind of look unfortunately this is one of those lip balms it smells vanilla uh, of vanilla and it smells very very similar to one of the elf lip balms in fact my favorite one which is the nude shade it smells very reminiscent of that and I did have high hopes for this especially being five pounds I thought it you know and it also has a five star review on the website so I was expecting really good things but it doesn't it's not moisturizing it just dries down and leaves a sheen on the lips and I'm not really that keen on it at all obviously I will try it uh, again um, and keep using it because obviously I've now got it but it's just not my favorite I like a really moisturizing lip product that you can put on perhaps before you go to bed and it stays there and keeps moisturizing you know while it's on the lip the next product is again one of the Makeup Revolution Renaissance lipstick. I got this in the shade, I think it's Cliche, C-L-I-C-H-E. Um, so uh, I've got a number of these which I've just done a swatch video of and I wanted the purple one because I love purple and I thought this would be really good. So I'll just swatch this. I'm always a bit worried with swatching these because they are so soft and creamy this is a gorgeous color and that's what that looks like I think that would look really really good with a um, like nude eye look so I'm really intrigued and looking forward to that the next two products are from freedom and they're products that I was never really drawn to because I thought they were a little bit gimmicky because they are the freedom pro glow and I thought mm, they're like leopard print and it wasn't really for me but actually I saw on YouTube someone actually applying one of these shades and I picked up this one in meow so I was I thought you know that looks stunning so I'll give that a go and um, so I purchased I'm just going to take the tape off again um, so I purchased two of the lighter shades so that I could you know give it a go and but when these were applied they really looked stunning so that's meow I'm not going to swatch these ones because I'll do a separate video on them and obviously I want to take pictures of them for Instagram so I don't want to swirl my finger in these just yet and then this one is Purr, P-U-R-R, -R, and it looks really gorgeous. Like I say, it's a highlight, so it's going to give you a, a really beautiful glow. Love those. And then the very last item is, again, another palette, and this one was £8. Again, it's from the Freedom range, and it's called Jewels and Riches. Now, 
originally I only had the matte palette one, uh, yeah, the, the matte one, and then I received, there was one on offer recently at half price, um, and that was a month ago, so I picked that one up, and then I thought, actually, the quality is so fantastic, I'm going to pick this one up. So they are just the black, shiny palettes, they have a mirror inside with the names on a little bit of plastic and then this is the palette and I was just really drawn to it. I did again see someone swatch this on YouTube and I thought fantastic, stunning. It's got nudes in there. I was never really drawn to it because of these blue shades and this green. I'm not a great lover of green or blue on the eye, although recently I have been wearing green and loving it but I'm really drawn to all these nudes and I thought, stunning. I'm gonna give that a go. So that one was eight pounds. So that is everything that I wanted to share with you. I know I've been purchasing quite a bit from Tam Beauty recently, but they've been having amazing products available. They're always coming out with something new nearly every week. And I think their offers are also amazing. You cannot be picking up a palette that was originally six pounds and it's a fantastic palette in itself. Um, but to pick it up for three pounds, you just cannot beat it. Foundation for two pounds is just amazing. So obviously I will be doing reviews and try-ons and so forth with all of these items over the next week or so. And I hope you enjoyed that haul. So thumbs up if you did, or if you just want to support me, uh, thumbs up and subscribe to watch further videos and tutorials. And of course, do select that notification bell and that will ensure that you don't miss any of my future videos. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.